Good morning everybody and um, welcome to day, I'm getting confused on the days now. <laughs> so we landed, yesterday's day one, day two, day two or day three, I can't remember if it's day two or day three. Um, we're heading into Paris today so we just thought it'd be really nice while the Olympics are on um, and we really wanted to go into Paris because Matilda's never actually been into Paris anyway and Ant's not either and I've actually been in when I was a lot younger, so I've not been in for years. So we're gonna to head to um, the train station at the Disney Village, and we're gonna get the train into um, Paris. I don't know what the train station is, but I'll let you know, um, and has got it all mapped out and sorted. So we're gonna head there this morning, have a few hours in Paris, hopefully soak up some of the Olympics. Um, I know we can't see anything, we did try and book something, but it was only a few couple of things that were left, like boxing and, something else that we wasn't really interested in and um, so I'm hoping we can just have a wander around we've got really got any plan we're just kind of going to wander see what it's like you know like I said soak up the atmosphere get a feel for it and then we're going to come back this afternoon and head into the studios park um for the last time to get the last couple of re-rides on some of the rides in there done and then that will be our last time in the studios park so that's the plan for today so come with us Okay, so we came to the train station. I completely forgot to film it. We literally went, we asked in the middle here with the two ladies there at the desk. We went over there and bought the tickets on the machine. And then we found the platform number and we're going down here to, um, what, where are we going to first? No, where we, what's the first bit you said we're to go to? I thought you said it was something San Germain or something. Oh, okay. So we had to buy this, um, which is the, what's it called? The Navigo Easy Pass. Yeah. So it was two euros for, for the pass. pass, wasn't it? But then we had to then buy the, it was basically, we got a one day pass. It was 54 pass. euros including the pass. Yeah, it was 54 euros including the Navigo Pass. So we each got one of these cards. Can you reuse these cards and load more tickets onto yeah. them? But it gets us transportation around Paris for the whole day. Yeah, so it gets us into Paris. Yeah. It will get us on the buses, the trams, everything like that, the trains, and back later on today. Tower Stadium, not the actual Eiffel Tower, just to go and look at the Eiffel Tower. It was where they're doing the stadium for the Olympics. But it is good, they've kind of like stuck over the top, haven't they? Like that stuff they've stuck on, they've stuck it over the top of what like the original, um, what it would normally look like. They've stuck it over the top. Um, so we've come out here, this is where City Mapper said to come out for the Eiffel Tower. Um, so this is where we've come out. <laughs> So it's called Aina. That's what they're, how they were pronouncing it, Aina. So we've come at an Aina stop and we're basically just gonna have a wander around. Oh, I like these ones, because it shows you what's in the, shows you what's in the vicinity, doesn't it? So it shows like a five minute walk circle. So there, oh, that must be the station there, look. There's the station. She's seen the boy Oh yeah. I can't see where the Eiffel Tower is from there though. No, in this five minute the river, well. radius. The oh, he's to the other side of the river. But there's some points there. Yeah. So we're just going to have a little wander and see what we find. And we're here, look at this. We actually just saw some British athletes coming up those yeah, Josh, uh, stairs, whatever. Who was it? Josh? Kerr. Josh Kerr. Um, so it's lovely here. 
So we was going to walk over that bridge and walk down, but I think we're going to go this way and walk over this bridge so that we can get some photos further down there. Looks amazing with the view today. Oh yeah, they're like pulling that little wire thing. What they go? stops now as I've got zoomed in. Okay, so we got to the end, but I didn't realise that you can't get across. <laughs> Which is fair, we couldn't see that right down there. Oh, three helicopters there in the sky. So basically this gate is blocked because the stadium is just here. You can see there's the plane replays, but there's nobody in that stadium at the minute. Um, and then that means that there's nobody going across the bus. Something on the bridge, but obviously it mustn't have been um, people going across the bridge so the bridge is blocked so we are going to have to go across the bridge there and walk down here aren't we and um, you can't even go on the bottom um because you can't get up there's no the stairs and everything are completely blocked so back the other way uh, we made it to the bridge look at all the padlocks and actually it's engraved in paris <laughs> We're just having a little leisurely stroll past the um, Eiffel Tower. Look, there's a the huge fish in there. Wow. Look, there's a sign saying, do not feed the ducks. Oh, or something go. similar, I'm assuming. It really made me laugh saying, don't feed the ducks. Oh, that's nice. Like a little area there where they're all sat. What, sorry? Oh. oh two together now. Nice, yes, look at these streets. Can you see it? Oh yeah, just the top peaking up there. So we've come to this bus stop here and we're getting the bus 92 and we're gonna go four stops and then we're getting on the underground aren't we to go to we're trying to get to the Champs Elysees and um the art tree on that aren't we? Yeah. So we need to go, we're basically a city map of it, so we know where we're going to. Not this one, this is number 80, we want the one behind it, number 92. Oh, the big buses. Okay, so we got mixed up. We didn't need to get on a tube after all because the bus brought us straight to the Arc de Triomphe. We're right here. So we now need to work out how we cross over. Oh, okay, so we're trying to work out how we actually get to it because obviously it's in the middle and it's just everywhere, but it looks like we have to go underneath the stairs to it somehow. We're gonna try and work it out now. Okay, so it was down the stairs and then it looks like you couldn't go any further because it looked like if you went straight on, you were coming to the exit of where you come out of the um, tube metro thing. But then if you went to the left, I think it was. Was it to the left? Yeah, the right. The right, you went to the right. There was a sign on the wall. Um, I'll just show you them now up here so you can see what I mean. And it said Arc de Triomphe Champs Elysee this way, exit. But just a sorty, um, so we just kind of followed that. So it's not these ones, it was on one of these. So see, it says sorty there and has a list of places. It had Arc de Triomphe on it. So there, so sorty, Champs Elysee, and Arc de Triomphe. Oh, that's good. There's an a lift, uh, escalators for the Champs Elysee, and then actually, we're just following these signs here. Oh, man, it's above our head there as well. Look, sorty number one. So we know we need to come out at number one for the Champs Elysees and the Art de Triomphe. So at least we know which way to come out of to get to it and just follow, follow the signs basically. Just keep going. So we've come up on this side of it. Oh, we still can't work out how you get to the middle. I still can't see any crosses. I just keep seeing people legging it across the road when they get a break, which I really don't think is a good idea with this roundabout because it's an absolute nightmare. Well, people are just making a run for it and just like running across when they see a gap. He's going, I don't know where he's going, he's gone from one lane to four lanes. Then people there are making a run for it over there. These people are going to make a run for it back. But I, really, I don't think I, I can't make a run for it, I really don't think I can. But there must be a way of doing it. Surely people are There's just taking a break gap. for it. We made a run for it. Oh, we did it. <laughs> we just followed somebody else. <laughs> All the women were like, come on, come on. So we all did it together. So we've crossed over into the Arc de Triomphe and we're gonna have a little look round now. Okay, 
So our gentleman has just stopped me and said that there is actually a way to do it. You go under the subway, which is what we did. Follow the signs and apparently you can get out. Um, but we did try that, it didn't work, but there obviously is a certain way of doing it. Okay, so we made it back across me and Matilda and Aunt was in the queue for us because we were going to look, we're going to look in the Paris um, official store for the Olympics to see what they have. So we're going to have a little nosy in here and then we're going to head to see some other things. Okay, so it's a really tiny shop, but I've just picked up this because I really wanted one of these. It's 20 euros and it's 20% off. They've got like a couple of pins and things, haven't they? Oh, that's cute. They've got like keychains, they've got t-shirts, they've got some t-shirts, which you seem to be the ones with the mask on that are reduced. Okay, so quick update. We waited 40 minutes to get into the shop, got to the till, and they told us you can only pay by Visa card or um, cash which obviously we don't have any cash with us because we didn't bring anything and um, because we have a Monzo card which we just pay everything on there and that's not Visa card it's classed as MasterCard um, but that's the only type of card they will take is Visa card they won't take any other type of card or cash and they didn't never they didn't know where the nearest cash machine was so it is a little bit annoying to be fair because the, there was no signs outside was there saying that so we've spent 40 minutes in a here when it was really really hot as well standing outside and then we finally get in and choose the things that we want and then we can't buy them because we don't have the right card and they weren't very helpful were they either at trying to like tell you any alternatives um so we're just going to walk, walk down here now and see what down the chance yeah so we found the lauder shop for macarons look at these oh my gosh they're so good so we got a box of eight, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Mm, so we stopped off after um, Lauderick because we're going to take the eclair, the, eclair, the macarons back with us. Look at this eclair that we got. Pistachio and raspberry. And we got, a, it's like a cookie yeah. croissant, isn't it? Yeah. And then, what was yours? And like a citrus lemon meringue eclair. So it was just like she in this little shop there. They were seven euros each for the eclairs. And was it six for the croissant? But they do look really, really good. We've made it back to the station. And so we've come to the Charles de Gaulle Etuel, which is where we pass the train. How long is it? It's really long. This is where we got off this morning, isn't it? Oh, I didn't think we did. That's what I was confused with. We got off here for the Art de Triomphe, didn't we? On the metro. But now we've come up to the actual train station part of it. Yeah, we got off at Aubert. We did, yeah. But this one takes us all the way to... It's called... It's that, is it, there where the Mickey head is? Um, let me just zoom in a little bit. Maran Le Valley Sheffy, just after Val and um, that's where we're going to get off to go to Disney. Hello, so we've come out of the hotel at the front, we're going to get the bus just here. I'll show you, that's where the, um, that's the airport bus at the minute um, is here for transfer, I and mean, it's just along here where the, um, the bus pulls up to take you to their parks. We've only really got the bus once, I think, twice actually maybe, I think. Was it the first day? Is that it? It's the first day, yeah. <laughs> But we're really really tired now we thought it takes us to the village and that's where we want to go to the village at the minute to get some tea and then we'll head into the park um the macarons were really nice we only had one each um of our flavors but they were really 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 good so we'll catch up when we're in um, the disney village right so we've come to five guys for tea so we got burger one is me. Burger two is Matilda. Burger two is Matilda. Burger three. Is Burger three. Because <laughs> you get to choose different toppings on them, like what you want on them. So it came to forty-three and oh. forty-three euros and eighty cents, and that was for we each got a burger. Me and Matilda got the little cheeseburgers oh, with different toppings. I've got a normal cheeseburger, and we got this was the fries to share. 
This was a medium fries. That's why we only got medium. <laughs> one portion of fries to share. Yeah, and we got a soda cup. You actually can't refill them either. It's against the law. Yeah, it's against the law in France to give refillable soft drinks. So they give you a little cue up, like a little. Um, but I haven't got it because she took it off. You oh no, it's, I have got it. It's here, isn't it? Yeah. I'll just take it off, mate. I don't know what it is. It's probably underneath that tray. Um, she gave me a little piece of yellow paper that I had to scan on the machine first before I fit, which would let me fill my drink. And then it even says only redeemable once. Um, and then you can't use it again. So let's enjoy our Five Guys tea. Matilda, what did you have on your burger? Mayonnaise and grilled onions. Why did you have mayonnaise and grilled onions on your burger? Because I love mayonnaise. I like chips and mayonnaise. No. Nope. Mayonnaise on burgers is wrong. Yeah. It's not. It nope. tastes really good. Me and Daddy both agree. We think mayonnaise belongs on chicken burgers, mm -hmm. not on beef burgers. Please let us know in the comments if you agree with us because Matilda's adamant that mayonnaise on beef burgers is fine. It is fine. Nope. It's not against the I know a lot of people have mayonnaise with chips and I don't even like that. But mayonnaise on a beef burger with grilled onions and cheese she's just eaten. That is the strangest thing ever. It is not. <laughs> Okay, so we're in the park and we just did the Stitch Live show. I'd really oh my gosh, was it was so funny. Like, we didn't get a picture of him, but it was we just hilarious. Yeah, we can't, you couldn't film in there, I take photos. But the whole thing was, so I was like, what in myself? It was really, really funny. Don't tell people, because I'll probably do the same thing, but it was just so funny, wasn't it? I can't believe how funny it was. But we're now going to go on Tower of Terror, because the wait time has just dropped to five minutes. So we've come off Tower of Terror and Ant has taken Matilda on Spider-Man's web slinger. So I'm just going to quickly show you a little bit of what's out around the Avengers um, area. So you've got the training centre, is here. Um, you've got mission equipment, which is a shop here. And this is the Avengers um, flight fall, which is basically um, rock and roller coaster. That's like the very end, the furthest point. Then if you went down that way, you would get the Stark factory, which is... Um, the food, like a quick service restaurant place, and the training campus. Oh, oh no, so the training centre is behind me, sorry. And then Pim Kitchen is just here past the toilet, and then you have Spider Man on this side as well. But it looks like someone's out here meeting and greeting. I haven't been down this way, so I thought I'm going to have a little look. What's down here? Oh, it looks like Thor and. Oh no, it's Wonder Woman, I think. Yeah, but you can say Wonder Woman's out at the minute. Okay, absolutely not Wonder Woman. Why I thought it was Wonder Woman? Captain Marvel. I'm so annoyed because I had my Captain Marvel t-shirt on yesterday as well. So that's literally where she's meeting here, Captain Marvel. You can see the um, cruiser up there. And I've just come down here and there's something called the Super Diner. And there's like a little truck stop menu here as well. I just got the cutest little cookie ever. You could have chocolate or raspberry. It's great. I love the fact that he's not got the strawberry filling in his eye, the raspberry filling or whatever it was. It looks so cute. It was €4.50, which works out at £3.82, I think it's gone through on my card. So I'm going to surprise Aunt and Matilda when they get back off the ride, but look how cute he is. Oh, so Aunt and Matilda are back. We I had, won again. We had our group cookie. Oh yeah, you won, you won again, so I think you forgot that. I'm forgetting what's happened. Um, the group cookie was nice, wasn't it? Like the raspberry filling was nice. So we had a cookie that was really nice. Then we went on oh RC racer. Oh yeah. Because it was a five so minute wait. Good. Couldn't believe that five minute wait. Loads of rides have massively dropped. Yeah. That um Iron Man one's five minutes now it says on the app. Tower of Terror is ten minutes. But we're now gonna finish with the what's this called? Cars road trip. The cars road trip because Matilda wants to do this one again. <laughs> This canyon is so beautiful and calm. Salmon <laughs>
So we did Carl's Road Trip, which I really liked. And then we came back to a hotel and got rained on. <laughs> but it wasn't, it wasn't that bad rain. It wasn't that bad on the way back, but it was raining a bit. It was it? like a drizzle. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, we're just going to go to bed now and we'll see you all tomorrow. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Bye for now.